Luca Pui, congratulations. How tough is it? Because in the first round you played against a Frenchman, and in the second round you have to play another fellow countryman. How do you get through those two matches? Well, I think I played some great tennis. It's not uh, always easy to play, uh, I mean, a countryman. Uh, obviously, we, we are friends, and but you know, it's also positive. It, it means we are a lot in the draw, and we it happens that we have to play against each other many times during the year and uh, we get used to it so I'm just just very happy that uh, I played some great tennis and I'm, I am in the third round right now. You played some fantastic tennis today, you didn't drop a set, you won almost 90% of your first serve points and hit 39 winners. What did you feel like you did best out there on court? Well, uh, I think I was very aggressive uh, from the first point and until the, until the last one and I, yeah, I managed to, to have a good Good percentage of first serve. Take care of my my serves and try to, to put uh, the pressure on his uh, on the return and and I think I did it great and uh, I would uh, I will need it uh, for the next round. We know that you can play some top tennis. Obviously, making the semifinals at the Australian Open. It's been up and down since then. Do you feel like you're finding your best tennis again? Well, yeah, I think so. I'm playing. Uh, I'm, I'm confident. I'm playing some good tennis. Uh, now it's going to be. Another level, obviously, in the next round, but I'm, I'm feeling confident and I'm feeling very excited about, uh, about the next match. And uh, I try my best to, to get through the, the second week. Yeah, go ahead. We can talk about that. You, you take on Roger Federer next. You've only played him once before, Luca, back in 2014. But Roger Federer, Wimbledon, there's no greater challenge, I think, in this sport right now. Maybe Rafa at Rafa, the French the Open. French yeah, Open, of course. Yeah, so how, how do you take on Roger here? Well, uh, it's a good challenge. Uh, obviously, I think I have nothing to lose. Uh, I take my chances. I go on the court. Uh, yeah, the first step I make on the court, it will be to, to win the match and uh, to give my best, to give uh, all I have. And, and then we'll see after this. But uh, yeah, for me as a tennis player, obviously playing Roger uh, in his garden here in Wimbledon, it's, uh, it's really exciting. And lastly, it's not a new partnership, but you've now been working with Amelie Moresmo for a while. What does she bring? What's so special about her as a coach? She's a former champion here at Wimbledon. Well, uh, I think she has the, the perfect state of mind, a uh, champion state of mind. And that's, uh, that's what you need when you, you want to win some big, ter big tournament, big titles. Uh, I think she, she will be good advices for, uh, for Saturday if we, if we play on center court. I have never... I've never seen it, so uh, I think she, she will tell me a lot about it. And yeah, she has. <laughs> uh, yeah, she has some great memories here, so obviously we will have a good talk and uh, I will get ready for Saturday. Okay, merci beaucoup. Thanks. Thank you very much.